All right, it's day number 899 review video, guys. 899, crazy. So tomorrow's day number 900. Uh, we've got uh, $297 of commission up here. So we're going to do a withdrawal. And then I have a guy that has sent me. Well, it's on the way, he says. Uh, $400 Canadian to USD. So I'll be sending him $295. So that's pretty pretty neat. This withdrawal is going to uh, go, go to him, basically. Um, but yeah, I'll send him uh, $295 from here. And uh, that'll, uh, he's going to put it towards his investment in S group there. Okay. So uh, let's get going here, guys. We're going to shoot on over. Oh, you know what? I got to show you this. Holy jeez. Look at this, guys. So um, my funds left over to do, like my leftover team turnover to do is $253,620. So that is a big number. It sounds like a lot. Um, but so far, guys, I've done two point uh, two two $2,746,000 um, in sales there. So in reality, guys, this is not that much further to go. Um, if I have an amazing next 30 days, I can do this in 30 days. I don't think I can do that in 30 days, though, just by looking at my last six months result. Um, a really good month for me is like around 200000 But we're like borderline 30 to 50 days, guys. Um, and, uh, I'll get that $150,000 bonus. So this is super, super exciting. Uh, I just want to say this again, guys, I can visualize, like I can actually see getting the $150,000 bonus. I can see it, but the $500,000 bonus and the million dollar bonus, I can't visualize that right now because this is too much money for me to actually picture, uh, like me making that. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I can, you know, visualize making five hundred thousand dollars, say, in a year or something like that. But just to come to me in one day as a bonus, like I, I can't visualize that. So this is going to be neat for me when I do uh, hit this uh, uh, level here, which is a level 10, 15.5 percent commission. That's ten million dollars in sales, uh, and then get a, a five hundred thousand dollar bonus because um, it'll be kind of a new uh, milestone in my life guys is, is to make that much money, um, you know, in one day, that's crazy when you think about it. So I've made probably around that as of right now in S group, because I've got 272, um, up there in bonuses and commissions right now that I've made. And then in the investment, if I go to investments here, I think it's like 120 something now that I've made investments or more than that. Yeah, 127, so almost 130 now in this uh, that, that I profited here from the investment. You got to remember, guys, I actually built my account to 50K and then I built it to 100K. So, um, you know, if I had have just come in at 105K, this number would probably be 300,000 bucks by now. Uh, but that's pretty, pretty awesome there. And then in my wife's account, she's got 93 or $96,000 investment in her account. So there's another, you know, uh, probably probably $80,000 in her uh, balance because that was built through my commissions, right? The, uh, her investment. So um, yeah. yeah, guys, I just, man, every time I think about that, like I'm like, holy crap, I'm so close to having $150,000 investment, which is like $150,000. I know to a lot of people, it's not a lot of money, guys, but where I was in my life, like 2.5, three years ago, I was sitting here thinking like my first 30 day goal in, I just want to put you guys in perspective of where I was. Cause I get so many people messaging me saying, Oh, Drew, you've got so much money. You're doing so great. Oh, this is like amazing stuff like that. But I want to put this in perspective where I was 2.5 to three years ago. I didn't have $5,000 to invest in S group guys. Like I didn't have $5,000, <laughs> right? That was my goal was my first 30 days. I wanted to get myself to a $5,000 investment in S group. And now like, I'm not saying this to brag guys. I just want to put this like out there so that, uh, you know, cause I know a lot of people were in the situation I was in 2.5 to three years ago. Like you're working your ass off, working eight, six hours, whatever, eight hours, six hours a day doing something like I was trading full time uh, back then guys day trading, which still, you know, a lot of people think that's kind of a dream job, but to me it wasn't, it's stressful. It's like, I'm some days losing way more money than I'm making, or, you know, I do good 
all month and then the last week of the month I lose basically everything that I've made. Um, you know, that kind of stuff happens when you're day trading. It doesn't matter how great you are at it or how great you think you are. Um, you know, you're going to have bad months, bad days, bad weeks, all that kind of stuff. And then sitting here now, uh, you know, just like three years into the future from when I was like struggling, basically having to sit here eight hours a day behind my computer just to pay the mortgage and stuff. Um, guys, like in a week, like a week of S group through commissions and earnings, like that pays all my bills. It's crazy. So the, the, you know, the following three weeks of the month after that first week is all just funds I can put into more investing or I can put into my pocket or I can like, it's just crazy guys. And then on top of that, to think I do another $253,000 of sales and the company's going to give me a $150,000 bonus for promoting, <laughs> which is insane. And then along the way, I'm making a 14.5% commission here. Um, this is crazy guys. And then to think like, okay, yeah, I, you know, Next level here, I'm making a 15% 15 per, oh, commission. And then I just keep on going and 15.5, 16% commission. As I've said before, guys, I can't visualize making $500,000 in a day. I can't visualize making a million dollars a day. And, and we know there's four more levels to S group. They just don't show it because I don't think there's a point to show it. Um, but there are millions, like multi, multi-million dollar um, bonuses there and you know half them half a, a billion in sales and then a billion in sales and, and that type of thing i think actually the first one's 50 million um there in the the first uh, uh level 16.25 or whatever it is um but yeah guys it, this is crazy it's just a crazy f feeling and and really now because i'm so close it's like actually sinking in like i know before i've said like oh hundred fifty thousand dollars, this is going to be great that type of thing but i'm like a month or a month and a half away from this. And it's just, it's like sinking in now, like $150,000 is going to come to me in one day. And this is what I'm thinking is I go, I don't pull that out and buy a stupid supercar or whatever, even though like I already have a nice Corvette, but I don't go out there and buy a Lamborghini or whatever kind of thing like that. If I go and invest that, okay. And we'll look at this. Okay. So I go over here to investments, man, this is, <laughs> I keep on saying, oh, this is crazy, but yeah, it's completely nuts. Okay. So if I was to take that $150,000, invest it, make three $50,000 investments, of course, I'd have to round, you know, get, uh, get together that 5%, but I can do that 5% on each investment, put that in there. That's like 7,500 bucks, right? Get each investment to 50 K. Um, and on a, you know, I'll use the word pathetic because this last month has been, uh, you know, I don't want to say pathetic for, cause anything's, uh, any profits nice, but like a low month, right? This last month has been, uh, has been pretty low there. We've got one more day of earnings into here. You can see this one's on day 90. So this funds here plus probably $200 or so will come to me tonight. Um, there when I'm sleeping and, uh, yeah. So if we take this number here plus say 200 bucks, because that already is about $200 of earnings from a $50,000 investment. And then we go plus 200. I know this is easy math and I could just do this in my head, but I like to show these numbers because some people decide not to turn the volume on when they watch my videos, which is very strange. Um, yeah, guys, 53, six. So this would be, as we know, if you watch my videos, like that's a really low month for a 50K investment. Um, we've seen 50K on high months make like around $5,000 USD uh, in 30 days. So this is definitely very, very low there. But you know, with the economy and stuff like that, I'm just surprised that we actually still make money uh, day after day after day. And there's not a day of loss, but you know, those days of 0.19% or 0.25, it's, it's just like it ends in a low month is what I'm saying here. So there we go. There's a, a low, low month there. And if I go like this times three, this is what I'm thinking about guys, is that if I invest that $150,000, like sure, it would be great for me. To, I've always wanted a Lamborghini. I'll probably have one one day, but it'd be stupid for me to go take my Corvette, trade it in, get 150,000 US, which is like probably two, 200 and something thousand Canadian and go and just buy a Lamborghini with cash, right? I could do that when I get my $150,000. I could do that. And I could have my car that I would dream about when I was a little boy and you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, or I could have an extra 
10,000 to 15,000 probably. No, probably 10 to 14,000 or 13,000 USD per month coming to me, guys. So this is, I see this as a better option, guys, than having like the actual, like my dream dream. Like right now I have my dream car. I've got a brand new Corvette. That's awesome. You know, you go out, everyone loves it. They're like, yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> you know, kind of thing like that. Um, but yeah, every guy wants a Lamborghini. That's the dream car for a guy. I just see this as a better for my life, right? I have a kid, I got a wife, we got a mortgage, we got all this stuff. I'm making more than enough money right now to pay all that stuff. But to have another 10,000 USD, which would be USD to CAD, you know, 14, 15, so 14 to probably 16 or $18,000 a month coming in, I think this just makes more sense for me to do. So guys, you're going to see me, oops, you're going to see me when I make that 150,000 uh, uh, bonus, guys, you're going to actually see me invest that. I'm going to record it in video of myself investing it. Um, you know, guys, it's going to be big because I don't think there's anyone else out there that sh uh, has recorded a video, like actually live proof of going and in investing that much online right? Like there's probably some people out there that have recorded themselves investing, say, well, I've recorded myself investing $50,000. Um, when I got that bonus, I don't think like, I think if you go to YouTube, you probably like with any opportunity, I don't think you could find someone actually investing $150,000. You can see a lot of people that have portfolios in investment that are over 150,000 or whatever. But I don't think that, uh, you know, just in one shot, one bang, like 150 K. Um, it's going to be exciting guys to do that. It's going to be amazing piece of content. Like I, I think that everyone on my team can use that to like, you know, for promotion being like, you know, this is how great this system is. You know, there's, uh, one of the leaders in Canada, um, he made $150,000 investment in it. And he already had a couple hundred thousand dollars of invested, uh, investment in S group. So that's, you know, he saw it as, Hey, I could take this. I could go and buy something amazing with it. That would make me feel really good, uh, great and stuff like that. Like having a Lamborghini or I could go get another property. I could put down $200,000 Canadian, get, go get another house that would bring me an income. I could rent it, whatever. Or my wife wants a cottage. I could go buy a cottage or whatever with that funds. But as I see it, guys, I would rather have it in S group making me you know, 14 to 17 to 16, whatever thousand dollars Canadian a month and have that money coming in month after month after month, year after year after year, uh, than going and having something, you know, materialistic in my life that I probably don't really need. Right. We'll do a withdrawal. We'll withdraw this 297. And then, uh, I might have to do that, uh, off video is, uh, send him those funds. So we'll go 298 would be the withdrawal, 298, and uh, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, got to go over here, SWCT, grab that address, go back here, pop that sucker in there. Um, also, guys, I'll, I'll do a little bit more talking in this video here. I'm going to talk about the video I made the start of, or the middle of this week, I probably should say. I think it was made the middle of the week. I'm um, about the, is the USD going to collapse and is China going to take over the world and all the uh, market and stuff like that? Um, you know, what people are talking about. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do here wrong? Oh, geez. 297 is up there. So I got to go 296. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, what did I do? Just click that and there you go. Okay. So we got to pop that code back in there. Yeah. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that just because some people seem to um, enjoy that. That got a, a ton of views. And I just want to kind of explain, because I rewatched that video. Where is it? Right here. Yeah. So it got 122 views there. Um, and you can see the other averages of my videos is like around maybe 70 to 80 uh, views. If, if the video is three days old, this one's 65, this one was uploaded last night, which is uh, 48. And this one's, so you can see probably average views for a video is like 70 or, or so there, um, you know, over a week kind of thing. Right. So 
I want to go elaborate a little bit more on this of, of what I'm thinking, guys. I wasn't too crystal clear about my opinion on this. I just gave you guys, if you watch this video here, I gave you a scenario of like that, you know, I wouldn't even really think about this stuff until it actually happens. Where if you go on vacation, and I don't think it'll ever come to this point, but when you go on vacation to say a tropical area like Dominican Republic or Mexico or something like that, where their currency against the US dollar is like nothing. Like they basically don't even like, they want their currency, but they would rather make USD than their currency. Like w way rather, right? Okay. When you go on vacation and you hand them a tip of say five bucks or something like that for maybe the maid service cleaning your room or, or, you know, the, uh, people, the bartender brings you drinks or whatever. You give them a couple bucks or something like that. When they look at you, when you hand them a USD bill and they're like, kind of like, ah, I don't, I don't want this. Like you get that feeling of like, this is useless. Like if I was to go to Mexico and hand, um, uh, uh the bartender, like five pesos or something, you know, they'd be like, uh, <laughs> I'd rather have USD kind of thing. And, and, and they might actually even say that, right? Uh, like, hey, white man, give me some USD kind of thing like that. Um, you know, that's when you should probably start thinking like, okay, yeah, something is going on with the US dollar and stuff like that, guys. But I don't think it'll ever come to that point. What I think is the US dollar will get de, like depreciated right? But not to the point where people do not want it anymore. Like for instance, in Venezuela, there's so many videos on YouTube of the Venezuela dollar just blowing around on the streets, like actual bills, money blowing around on the streets because people see it as just paper, right? Like there's no value in it for to go buy a hamburger costs them like, you know, uh, like a, a, a wheelbarrow load of bills, right? Like it's just crazy. Okay. So that was an exaggeration, but you guys know what I mean. Like you need a stack of bills just to buy a hamburger in Venezuela with their actual dollar, right? So, um, yeah, that's kind of when I would, you know, when it, when it would, you'd actually want to be like, okay, yeah, this is a problem is when those countries no longer want USD, but I don't think it'll ever come to that point, guys. Like if you go, you know, I, I, I kind of pointed out some nice stuff in here. You know, guys, what I think is I think in two to five years from now, it's just things are going to cost us more money, right? Like for instance, if you're in Canada and you go to the store and you buy one apple, okay? So for instance, right now I go to the store, I buy one really nice apple. It might cost me a dollar to $2, right? in two to five years from now, I go to the store and I buy that one really nice apple, it might cost me three to four bucks, okay? But I don't think it's gonna be like I go to the store and I need a wheelbarrow load of money to buy an apple, okay? Like for instance, in Venezuela or wherever, um, where they're, the value of their dollar is just so low compared to the USD, right? Like right now, everything's based off the USD, the value of other currencies, right? So. Um, you, you can see here, guys, in this video here, we'll just blow this up so we can really see it. Oh, I just went away. But anyways, you can hear my voice still. You can see here how powerful the US dollar, this is the trade volume, right, of, of these top currencies here, how powerful the US dollar is compared to the rest of the world, right? Euro, Japanese yen, British pound, uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, Chinese yen. Actually, I don't think you say it as yen. But uh yeah, so you can see this, guys. The Chinese or <laughs> the U.S. dollar is so much stronger than everything else, right? It's eighty-seven percent, and this was two thousand sixteen. So obviously, it's went down a bit, but still, even if it's seventy percent, right? That is still amazing. So, what I think is, if you know, this is kind of my thoughts on this, guys. Is if, say, for instance, this whole scenario, what the news is saying, which we know we can't really take what the news says with a grain of salt. Like it's just, after all the COVID talk and stuff where they're just completely lying to our faces and, you know, people losing their jobs left and right because of what basically what the government was doing to everybody. Like we know now we just can't trust what we see on media. We just, you just can't, right? So if the media right now is saying, you know, the Chinese are taking over our US dollar or your currency of the country you're in is going to be valued at nothing you're going to, it's going to be like Venezuela, um, you know, 
the Canadian dollar is going to be the new peso and like all this stuff that you're seeing right now, guys, you know, I just don't, I don't see it that way. What I see is maybe, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe the, the, uh, uh, CYN or whatever the Chinese dollar ticker is, maybe it moves up a bit and becomes something like what the British pound is, but the, the U S dollar is still so much stronger. What I can see happening guys is the Euro or the U or the British pound becoming, you know, equally as strong as the U S dollar. That's what I can see happening, right? Because if you go back in time, you can see over time, like every, you know, if you watch the end of this video here, this guy talks about it. Who's, you know, he's, I don't really know who he is guys. I just watched a bunch of content about this to actually like figure out what other people are saying about it and stuff and get a real understanding of it. He's a really smart guy. I can tell, I don't know, as I said, I don't know who he is, but I can tell he's very wealthy and stuff like that. And he knows about currency. He understands about market analysis and all this stuff. Um, and you know, he, at the end of the video guys, he gave his opinion. He basically kind of said the same thing here is that, you know, he didn't really say in my lifetime, I don't think this is going to happen. Obviously he's much younger than me. Um, but you know, in a way he's kind of saying that guys, if you know, is that I don't think in our lifetime, we, we probably will not see the U S dollar be diminished. Like a Venezuela dollar is kind of thing, right? We might have something catch up to it. We might have something pass it, but it'll always be in the top currency of the world. Right. And I think that's how we need to treat this right now and not just stress out and worry about, Oh my God, uh, I'm going to go, uh, uh, I go to buy chicken breasts and it costs me a week of, of my work. I go to work for a week and, and I can buy one chicken breast. Like it, I, it just, I don't see that happening guys. And, and that's really what a lot of the news is telling us right now is this fear, fear, fear. You're all going to be broke, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just don't see it. Like going back to this chart here, guys, and looking at it, like just look at how much the U S dollar is traded, right? It's, it's, more than 50% more than everything else. So yeah, I think if it was to depreciate, right, it would be second or third, right? British pound, the euro, those kind of currencies, I think would pass it, you know, maybe the CYN or whatever you want to call the uh, uh, Chinese dollar there. It might move up a bit more, maybe past uh, Canada, you know, or Australia or something, but I just don't really see it you know, I don't, I don't see it the way that the news is saying. So that's just my opinion on things, guys. You know, what I'd recommend you do is don't listen to what other people are saying. Like even my opinion, don't listen to that. Go out there, take my opinion in or whoever's opinion that you're watching the videos on and, and, and that sort of thing, listening to the news, all that. And then make your own educated decision on it. Just don't go out there, watch the news, stress yourself out and think, you know, guys, I've had people message me that are S group members, you know, a couple on my team, but the majority are not on my team that ask me these questions and be like, you know, Oh, we're making SWCT and that's a one-to-one -one with the U S dollar, right? Uh, what are, what's your opinion on this? Are you scared that we're making like a one-to-one -one with the U S dollar and S group? Right. And really like, would you rather make the Chinese dollar or the Japanese yen or a British pound or, a euro or something like that, right? Would you? And my answer to that is no, I'd rather be making USD. That's how I see it, right? Okay, so I just don't know, guys. I think that, you know, I don't think you should take other people's opinion, meaning I don't think you should just take what I'm saying here. Like you might see me making all this money and stuff online and think like, oh, he must know something more than I know because he's making more money than me. Maybe that's the scenario where, where you've put yourself in. But I don't think that you should sit there and be like, I'm stressed out about this. And oh, what Drew said, that's what I'm just going to believe. <laughs> okay. I think that you should go you should research things. If this is something that really bothers you, obviously you can tell it doesn't bother me. Right now, I do not care about it. I don't even think about it, right? When I'm laying in bed at night, I'm not thinking about, oh, I'm making USD. Maybe that's not a good thing, right? If I'm thinking at night about what I'm making, I'm like thankful I'm making USD, <laughs> okay? Right? I, I have the availability to go into S Wallet. I can sell that into Tether. That's the same thing basically as having USD. I could sell it into BNB. I could sell it into Tron. I could sell it into like cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Bitcoin. I could Bitcoin, Bitcoin. I could do that if I wanted to. 
They got euro here, guys. I could sell it into euro if I wanted to. One USD in, in euro is is a dollar and nine cents. Okay, I could do that, right? So if I uh, come along here one day and I'm like, man, okay, yeah, this is actually playing out. Like say two, three, five years down the road here, and it's playing out where one euro is now a dollar fifty USD then maybe the smart thing to do is actually sell my withdrawals into euro and hold them in euro. Okay. So guys, there's so much that you can do to calm your mind and to just, you know, all you have to do is look ahead. You have to look at what other people are saying. Okay. And then you have to create your own opinion about it. Don't watch one article in CNN or whatever. Don't go to YouTube and watch one video and make your opinion up about about something that is keeping you up at night because it's just pointless to do something like that. Okay, guys. So that's pretty neat. We'll go back here. Well, we're already on this page. We'll just refresh it um, there. And uh, that's it, guys. So I'll end the video here. I think that was a pretty nice video that I did. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. We'll have another 300 bucks or so in commissions that I've made. We'll do another withdrawal video um, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is going to be the big withdrawal for the week because we're going to get a withdrawal of the in, uh, investment profits um, from 51800 and something dollar investment there. And uh, yeah, that'll be tomorrow's video, which will be a Saturday. So that's it. See you guys. Bye-bye.